my channel how are you doing today hopefully you guys are doing well today's video is going to be as you can tell by the title is going to be using drugstore product creating this look right here and if you're interested how I create this look then stay tuned and let's jump into the tutorial well I already have my eyebrow done and for my eyebrow I used this right here this is from Pixie right here. It's uh, the Anastasia also have her eyebrow like this one, so I really do like this one. Also, you get a little gel in here, which right here to set your eyebrow. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid using this Elf uh, Elf primer right here. Eyelids are all primed and tacky. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the natural looking uh, shadow. This one, this is from Sonia Kashuk, and this is her old one. As you can see, this is like the chunky palette. She has the same quad, but much thick, thinner. Uh, so yeah, if you have this kind of a palette, then you can go ahead and grab that and use any natural shade to go ahead and uh, set the primer. I'm not going to use this one because I wanted to step out of my comfort level. So I'm going to go ahead and use my old, but I don't know if you guys will be able to find this uh, quad right here from L'Oreal or not, but if it's like the same kind of a uh, shadow. So this is Oh well, the sponge just about to fall out. But this is what the quad looks like, and this is uh, from L'Oreal, and the quad name is A Thirty Nine Coupa Joy. So this is right here. This is the um, eyeshadow I'm gonna go ahead and grab on my Morphe brush. This is the E Twenty Seven. And guys, please excuse my nails because I'm very very bad at, at doing my nails. I don't even know why I do my nails anymore. I don't get them done because I cook and I clean my house. I have a little baby, so I tend to just chip them off pretty often. And I am not a person who likes to go like every week to get the refill done. And when I get them done like by myself, I am just really horrible at it. The very next day, they are chipping or like the whole thing is off or half half of the nail polish is off this is the butter london if you're in case wondering this is what i have on and this right here is just the first coat but this nail has the two three coats but you know i i just i'm not a nails person so i don't get my nails done often i hope that doesn't bother you but let's just go ahead and jump into my eyeshadow I'm gonna go ahead and grab another L'Oreal and this one is the Good Luck Charm 103 right here. I am going to use today, it looks kind of shimmery. You can go ahead and use this one right here. It's kind of a neutral warm so and I'm using the same brush. We're just keeping it half of our outer corner. I'm grabbing the uh, Morphe E22. This is, uh, and now I'm grabbing same L'Oreal quad. No, I'm not a sponsor, but these are just the quad I had for a long time, so I'm just using them right now. And this one is a 312 right here, and it's Army Brat. Mm, Army Brat. And it has a beautiful, this uh, green color right here. I don't know why my uh, video is turned yellow. There you go, come on. And so I'm going to go ahead and use this darker right here, darker shade. As you guys can see, I'm not going way all the way down in the corner. I'm just going fairly 
to right here like right there we a little more than half go ahead and grab this mac shader brush right here uh, now i'm gonna go ahead and grab 103 good luck charm uh quad and this lighter pink right here can you see yeah that lighter pink right there just pack it on your brush and we're going to put it right on it has a little bit of fallout just in case if you wondering so i guess i'm going to go ahead and tap off the axis and put it on the lid sorry guys my my video my camera is just keep on getting yellow um which is adjusting so i'm extremely sorry about that today i'm going to go ahead and use this uh, glitter primer right here from nyx this is pretty much new for me, I never used it, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put it a little bit on my center of my lid and I'm going to use one of the kind of glitter looking shades, so let's see how it works out. So as you can see, it got to a little bit. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and use this white shimmery looking sh uh, shadow and using the same brush but the other side and just packing the brush on that uh, eyeshadow and just going to put it on right there where we have that glitter sh primer. <laughs> and uh, use the same brush and use this pink shade to intensify that um, outer corner because we lost a little bit of color from here and from here as well. Go back to that same brush uh, Morphe E22 and grab the darker color to intensify the outer corner as well. Well, I had to go back to this quad again because um, we don't have the black shade that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and use this darker black color for my outer corner. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this 223 right here, this uh, little bitty brush right there. And grabbing the 312, the Army Brett, and um, the wider shade right here for my inner corner. And this a little bit underneath the eyebrow as well. Uh, pretty much done with our eyeshadow so we're going to go ahead and put a liner for our eyeliner we're going to go ahead and use this uh, L'Oreal what is this extra intense liquid pencil eyeliner and this is in black <laughs> the Maybelline Master Precise a little eyeliner right here the reason why I didn't use this one at the beginning because mine got dry so I wanted to get the intense uh, for my liner and I wasn't going to be able to <laughs> mascaras on and today's mascara I'm gonna use three of these and the reason why because I like to pile up a lot of mascaras I try not to wear a lot of falsies unless I know that I want it to look really glamorous although this look kind of but I rather not wear it so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and pile these mascaras on so this one is kind of separating the lashes and this one gives you a lot of volume as uh, this one is too. This is from a Maybelline right here. This is the new one. Color Cell Big Shot. 
This one I'm using is from L'Oreal. This is the Voluminous uh, Paris, or original one. I used to love this stuff. I don't know what happened. See how much volume it gives? And if you see something like that happen, don't worry. We have a tools to fix. Let it dry and then we can always wipe that off. Now we're going to go ahead and put foundation concealer and do our under eye shadows and then put the mascara. I'm using this spray to kind of uh, give me a little a mist and this is from Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is a prime plus correct and set so I love the smell. It's a really nice smell. So today's uh, foundation, we're going to go ahead and use this right here. This is from LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. I My shade is Nude Beige. And I just put it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go ahead and use this Morphe Y6 from Gilded Collection and just dab it all over my face. Don't forget your neck. Okay, it looks pretty good to me. I mean, it's very dewy finish. Of course, it is illuminating product, so you know. But I do love this coverage. And now it's time to fix that mask that I made. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush, uh, the E22 gray black color, and just gonna touch a little bit on top of the eyeliner. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and correct my under eye by using this uh, NYX Dark Circle Corrector and I am using the medium right here, medium I guess and this is what it looks like. It's kind of orangey. I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger. Oh, I almost put it on my lid. That would have been messed up, right? Normally, I don't use my finger. I use a brush for this product, but I just I'm just using my finger today. I'm pretty much just uh, correcting all over my face. Now for my concealer, I really am tempted to use this one. This is from Physician Formula. And this is the medium size or color, I mean. And also I'm going to mix them with this Wet n Wild uh, under eye corrector. And my shade is, where are you? Medium peach. So let's see how I like the coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one first. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. This is just like a MAC long concealer and the packaging is almost the same I mean you just barely want to score it out but then it scores a lot out and I really don't need that much so we're probably just gonna waste it now I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, sponge from Eco Tools right here and just barely dab that and put it on top of that concealer <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of good things about this uh, sponge right here. I personally don't like this sponge. This is just okay, you know. It's not as great as everybody, like a lot of the YouTubers, raves about. That's just my personal preference. I still do like Morphe, the red one. I still do like Sigma's one, but nothing compares though with Beauty Blender. So the only reason this is this become a very popular because it's one because you can really like if you can find them any drugstore you could just right there buy it, and it has a sharp side both side, and you can use that for these kind of reason. That's the only two main and reason. 
I can think of why people, a lot of the YouTubers like it, I think. Right, at this moment I look very dewy and concealed, so I'm going to go ahead and set my um, concealer. And before that, I want to go ahead and contour. This is a new product for me. This is Espresso from NYX right here. So I'm going to go ahead and dab. I don't want to go heavy hand because that color is very, very dark. And I'm going to go ahead and use this bigger side. There's a two side. One small, one big. I mean, I already set my concealer, so I'm going to go ahead and use the side anyway. And the sharper side first. I'm out of focus, out of frame. I just need to get myself together. Go ahead and use this uh, NYX HD finishing powder in color banana to go ahead and set my face. And for my under eye, I am going to go ahead and use this Morphe M321 right here. I'm going to go ahead and use the 839 Coupa Joy, Joy right here from L'Oreal and using this uh, lighter brown shade. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the Sonia Kashuk and grab this color right here. I just can't live without this palette guys. I'm using the same pencil brush, uh, this two darker color. As you can see, I hit the pen on this color because I use it all the time. So today I'm going to go ahead and use this L'Oreal Gold pencil right here for my inner eye. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the mascaras. For my bottom lashes, I'm using the first one is this right here. Go ahead and use this one from L'Oreal also. This is the telescopic uh, shocking extension or extension, yeah. So for the contour, I'm going to go ahead and use this Pixie Quad right here. This is the collaboration with one of the YouTuber. I think her name is Marlia. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, shade right here, more gray tone, by using a Morphe Y10 right here. You can always use the same palette because it has a highlight also blush as well and it has a banana uh, powder looking um, brush which is right there and the blush right here and different shade of contour and highlight as well. This is the highlight but I don't like the highlight nor I like the blush on this palette so I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, NYX Sweet Cheek uh, Blush Palette right here and I'm going to literally just swipe through to get the perfect shade that I'm looking for which you will see right now. All the matte pretty much L shape right here on the bottom and top off the axis or whatever you have on the brush which is a lot. Smile. I mean it's not too much you thought it's gonna be a lot don't you for me at least it's not today's um, highlight I'm very excited to use this two babies right here so what I'm doing is going to grab that white shade and just gonna put it on right there it's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one as well on right on top of that. Like right here. Not on top of this one, but just right underneath that. I 
do this, it looks like wet look. <laughs> And the brush I'm using, I forgot to mention, it's Morphe 321 and it is actually, the paint is coming off of my nose and bridge of my nose. A little bit on your chin. Right now we are done with our face. I'm going to go ahead and spray this one more time. This is the same spray. In today's look, we're going to use two different uh, lipstick. Technically, it's three, but we're going to call it two different lipstick look. So the first one I am using is from Wet n Wild. This one right here, this is more like a magenta shade. And the color is very recognized. And it looks kind of like a dose of color or Jeffree Star type. And the applicator for this really awesome. It just glide on, as you can tell. So this is the look number one. My hair is a very beachy kind of a hair look today. So if you don't like it, please excuse that. And so yeah, this is my first lipstick. So the next color we have here is the uh, same from Wet n Wild. And this is the Flame of the Game right here, which is a very orangey bright shade same applicator which i'm loving i kind of over -line my lip but that's okay I'll show you how it looks like So this is the second look. Um, technically, I was going to do just a second look, but I think I changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and put on this one as well since I have a very smoky kind of uh, eye look today. So let's just put on this muted uh, nude pinky color and see how it turns out. Some of you probably don't like very vibrant color, so this might work out for you. So time to use this baby right here, and it is the Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild. So there we have it, and this is the color. They do dry pretty quick. I mean, they're still it's still drying, but um, I think I do like this color in the first one that I showed you, which is this one right here. Um, I do like these both colors with this look. Though. I hope you guys enjoy this look, and please leave me a comment down below saying which lipstick look you do like and love. And I will definitely catch you on my next video until then you guys stay safe and healthy as always it's very important and once again I wanted to thank you so much for your love and support and thank you so much for subscribing and if you haven't already subscribed please click that red button and subscribe so yeah let's go ahead and say bye for now take care